Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to composite 3D models into your videos easily and make them look realistic with lights and shadows, all quickly and effortlessly in After Effects. Let's get started. First let's head over to Sketchfab, where you can download both free and paid high quality 3D models for After Effects. Let's search, for example for an old car. To display only free models, set the license filter to free standard. Now pick a model, I'll go with this rusty Ford Transit. Scroll down and click download 3D model. Choose the GLB format with 4K textures for the best possible quality. Once the download is complete, drag and drop the model into the After Effects timeline. In the pop-up window, click Make Comp Size and hit OK. Now that we have our 3D model in After Effects and ready to use, we'll also need proper 3D lights to make it look realistic and match it to our video. To download 3D lights, go to Polyhaven. Scroll down and click Browse HDRIs. Since my video is shot outdoors, I'll select the Outdoor category. From the list, choose the HDRI that best matches your scene. In my case, this one looks pretty close to my footage, but if your video is shot in a field or a different environment, make sure to pick the HDRI that fits your footage best. Once the download is complete, drag and drop the HDRI file into After Effects as well. Make sure to toggle off the HDRI layer, since we don't need to see it directly. To apply the lighting to the 3D model, create a new light layer. Change the light type to Environment, make sure Cast Shadows is enabled, and click OK. Under the Environment settings, set the source to the HDRI file you downloaded. Now if you expand the transform options and adjust the X and Y rotation, you can control the lighting direction and match it to your scene. We'll skip adjusting the lighting for now, because next we need to track the 3D car in the scene. After that, we can fine-tune the lights and shadows. Select your original clip and click track camera, then wait for the analysis to complete. Once it's done, select the points where you want the 3D model to sit, for example I'll select this spot and create a new solid and camera. To make the 3D model perfectly tracked, select the track solid layer, Press P on your keyboard to reveal the position property, then copy it and paste it onto the 3D model. Next adjust the size, position, and rotation of the 3D model. Once you're happy with the placement, we can start adjusting the lights. In my case, this 3D car is under a tree, so I'll adjust the lights and shadows to match that environment realistically. Select the environment layer and expand the transform settings. Adjust the X and Y rotation until the lights and shadows match the video perfectly. In my case, it looks great, the car appears realistically parked under the tree. Next we need to add shadows underneath the car. To create 3D shadows, we'll use the track solid layer. First make it large enough to cover the entire car. As you can see, we already have the shadow of the car. Now expand the track solid layer settings, then go to material options and set accept shadows to only. This gives us a clean shadow of the car. It may need a little fine tuning, but once adjusted, we can preview the video and check the final result. Everything looks great, it really feels like the car is actually in the video. The cool thing about using 3D models and lights is that if I for example move the car to the right, the shadows automatically follow, no matter where I place it, the shadow stays accurate. We can also animate the 3D model, for example creating a dropping effect or something else, just for fun. Select the 3D model, press P on your keyboard, then scroll a few frames forward and click the position stopwatch to add a keyframe. Next go back to the beginning and pull the Y position up to create the drop effect. Play the video to check it. As you can see, the shadows animate too, making everything look natural. I really like how it looks. Now smooth out the keyframes by selecting them and pressing F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, right click, select edit speed graph, and create a smooth curve for a more natural motion. Let's quickly check the result. I'm not happy with the ending of the animation, so I'll smooth out the curve a bit more. Now the animation looks much smoother and more natural. We can make it look even better by adding a shake effect. I'll use one from my AM Film Shakes pack, which you can get from the link in the description below. I've also made plenty of shake tutorials that you can find on my channel. Let's preview how it looks with the shake, and we're done. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this 3D tutorial. In the next one, I'll show you how to color grade and apply effects to 3D models in After Effects, because if you don't know the right way, it's actually impossible to apply any effects to them directly. 